Hey, bro, come out in the driveway. Explain to me how that helps you get ready for football season. It's right around the corner. I guess it doesn't. Honey, I'm telling you, you are way too hard on your younger brother. If you don't stop this, you're going to push him away. Nah, this is how all the great players are made. He's tough. Just watch it all work out. Hey, has anyone seen my backpack? Honey, I'll be right back. I'm going to drop Angel off at school. Babe, why do you keep torturing yourself? Hey, honey. Nah. I was just sitting here looking up the scores for the game. Hey, babe. Which of the boys at church do you want to ask Angel to the debutante ball? Huh? Oh, I don't know, sweetheart. What exactly is that again? Seriously, babe? We've been over this a hundred times. I need you to take more of an interest in what the girls are doing. Honey, I'm, I'm very interested. Uh, okay, go ahead and tell me about these boys for this dance. Okay, well, there's Johnson's son, Micah. No, no, definitely not him. Too pretty. <laughs> Too pretty? Okay, well, there's Dylan's oldest son, Terrence. Doesn't that boy stand attention a lot? The Dylan's are decent people but I'm not sure I want Angel hanging out with him. Well, um, the only other person I can think of is Maya Robinson's son, but I don't really think he's Angel's type. See, baby, that's the one, right? him right there. Jonathan. I'm telling you, babe, I know these type of things. Come on now. That's our man right there. Okay, girls, I'll catch y'all tomorrow. I gotta stop by Miss Sanders and pick up an assignment I missed when I was out last week. Oh, girl, we could wait for you. No, I mean, no. I don't want to hold you guys up. Y'all just go ahead without me. And I'll catch up with y'all later. Guess we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Well, as you can see, we are much ahead of our quarterly results. I just want to thank everybody for that. So this meeting will now begin. Tamara, did you have that lazy husband of yours carry the basket of dirty clothes to the laundry room for me? You know today is my wash day. And Coyle, we can start the presentation off with you, please. Shh, Mom, Dad is in a meeting. Meeting? In my day, a man got up and went out of the house to work, and he most certainly didn't hold work meetings from his living room. Mama, we've been over this. Dad works extremely hard and he doesn't need you hounding him. Would you two please keep it down? I'm trying to work in here. Um, what? honey. Why your face look like that? Honey. <sighs> well, thanks a lot, guys. I'm never going to survive living in this house full of women by myself. I'm getting a dog. Since you're finished with your meeting early, you could pick up Angel from school, she stayed late for junior classical team, and take Unique to dance class, please. Yes, honey. Sure, I can pick her up. Pants. Yep, will do. So, um, dance, huh? This is tap dance, right? No, that modern. Oh, right, right. Modern. And that's that type of dance that girl Sarah and Sadie Lance Dads did, right? Dad, are you kidding me? That was ballet. And please spare me the old movie references. My God, how old are you? Not that old. Okay, my fault. Well, look, how's your best friend Kim doing these days? Did you just say, Kim? Daddy, we haven't been best friends in like three months. Oh my god, you never pay any attention to okay, me. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't have a cow, I'm sorry. Look, how about we just stop talking and listen to some music together? Yeah, good idea. 
They say your girl's first love is your pops. Gotta show her unconditional love never stops. And never let them knock you off your grind to the top. And if the world get cold, you gotta show them that you hot. Not materialistic, but school until she rot. She shouldn't want for nothing but appreciate a lot. Talk bad about her daddy, watch how she rock. Make her feel safe, comfortable as a croc. You gotta be your girl, dad. In your palm is where her world is at. You gotta be your girl, dad. In the palm is where her world is at. You gotta be your girl, dad. In your palm is where her world is at. You gotta be hey, girl, I'm running in here, get Angel. Are you coming? Yeah, I need to go to my locker. I left my science book. All right, meet me back here in 10 minutes, top. I have two girls that I don't even really know. Okay, well, I'm going to my room. Can I talk to you for a minute? Dad, I understand that it's been hard for you since Uncle Sean has, hasn't been around us, but it's not fair that you put so much pressure on us. I know. Unique, I get it. I, I'm trying to adjust to everything as well. It's only been a little over a year since. Well, you know. But you do know that you have two children and one on the way. You do know that, right? Of course I do. What's my favorite color, Dad? Unique. What exactly are you trying to prove? What about Angel's favorite color? Exactly, Dad. Hey, Dad. What's up with Unique? Was there an argument? Listen, we're, we're not arguing. I'm... I'm just trying to get a better understanding is all. Okay. Well, I'm headed to the mall. Angel, you don't feel like I'm too hard on you guys, right? You understand that I, I don't want to hover over you and your activities. Well, it would be nice if you pretended to have an interest in things we like to do. But I do. I just took Unique to dance practice and picked her up. I picked you up from the juniors and and that's as far as it goes that when's the last time you sat in on anything we've done huh would it kill you to just try to spend a little more time man little bro can't believe we here all these years of watching your favorite wide receiver on the field, and now you're on the field yourself. Yeah, big bro. We made it. What's wrong? I don't know. Wow, I'm excited to make the team. I don't know if I really belong out here. I'm not like you and Dad. That's nonsense, man. You a Smith. Football is in your blood. You'll be fine. I'm telling you, big bro. I don't think football's my sport. Maybe basketball. Maybe another non-sport after-school activity altogether. I just don't feel like it's me, you know. You need to focus and get your head in the game. Come on now. Baby. Baby, what's wrong? Mm. Nothing. Jeez. Nothing. What time is it? It's 2 a.m., babe. What's wrong? I'm going to just go grab some water from downstairs. Okay. You need. Huh? What are you doing up so late? Yeah, Dad, I was practicing. Do you realize that it is past midnight and you got school in the morning? You see, this is what I'm talking about. You don't care about my dance dream. Oh, no. Nah. You can practice for your little dance thing anytime. Go upstairs, get some sleep. I want you to be well rested in the morning. What's going on down here? Mommy, I was practicing for my recital this week, but Dad said it's not important. Nah, honey, I, I ain't mean it like that. And I know I told you yesterday that it was coming up, Jonathan. I didn't totally forget. It probably just slipped my mind. That still doesn't change the fact that she shouldn't be up this late on a school night. Dedication this, sacrifice that. Isn't that what you used to tell Uncle Sean? Why is it any different with me? I remember, baby, but do you have to practice so late? Dad, I'm sorry.
sweetheart, you don't have to say anything. Look, actually, I owe you and Angel an apology. Really? Yeah, really. <sighs> I admit, I haven't been the most attentive dad. I should have been to y'all. It's just, you know. It has a lot to do with Uncle Sean, doesn't it? Dad, I just want to dance. If you and Uncle Sean didn't play football, what would y'all have done? <laughs> well, your dad was a heck of a golfer. But according to your granddaddy, that wasn't a real sport. Your uncle, on the other hand, was sort of like you <laughs> when he thought he was going to be the next great drum major of HBCU after seeing Drumline in the movie theater. Um, huh? Sorry, honey. Another old movie reference. Sure, Dad. Man, to think, he would have been in the band. But I caused him to be in that wheelchair with all my practice and pushing. I really can't face what I did. Baby, you didn't do anything but try to push him to his potential. But what you are doing is neglecting the girls. Have you seen Unique Dance? She's brilliant. I knew I was onto something naming her Unique. Sweetheart, look, I promise to be a more proactive dad and support you and Angel and whatever it is y'all want to do. Again, as long as it's legal. Could y'all give me another chance, please? Well then, it's all. Now get up there and get some sleep. You got school in a couple hours. God That's my girl. Hey son, I'm glad you made it. God got a plan for me.